Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about comparative embryology and how it supports the theory of evolution. Embryology is the study of embryos and their development. An embryo is a fertilized egg of an organism as it goes through the process of development that is specific to its respective species. Embryonic development, also known as embryogenesis, is the process by which the embryo forms and develops. In this case, comparative embryology is comparing the development of organisms from different species. Another vocab word I'm going to be using is homologies, which is a similarity in structure between two species due to their shared common ancestry, according to the theory of evolution. As we analyze these two data sets, we can see the homologies, or similar structures, across all the species during their early embryo stages. Some homologies include gill slits and a tail. In some species, like the salamander and the fish, the gills and tail develop into useful parts. But in human embryos, they are considered vestigial parts, or parts of an organism that has lost all or most of its function in the course of evolution. As I was saying before, all the displayed early embryos have gill slits and a tail, but as they develop, the embryos diverge and start looking a lot different and more similar to their mature forms. Some embryos, like the tortoise, chicken, and human, have completely lost their gill slits. The scientific concepts of natural selection and speciation are the reasons that all the embryos in their early stages have many homogenies, which clearly supports the theory of evolution. Both the datasets, showing the developing embryos of various species, support the theory of evolution because it shows that all the organisms have had a common ancestor some having a more recent common ancestor than others, and having sp have speciated from that common ancestor into what they are today, which is backed up by the homogeneity seen in their embryos. This is exactly what the theory of evolution is about, and comparative embryology bolsters this theory. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, send a reply.